Guys, for cheap and reliable coins, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWENFIFA at checkout for a discount. You can see, guys, they have loads of different coins up. Obviously, the prices will change as the game comes out more. It's cheap, fast, reliable. They do comfort trade, 100% legit, straight to your account for the cheapest price on the whole internet. Guys, I have started a free Discord. The link is down below in the description. Please do click and join the Discord. There'll be lots of different trading tips, stuff like that, in the actual um, Discord itself. But also, guys, I have started a Patreon. You can feel free to join at any level you like. See how it is. Um, you can make lots of different coins. I'll give extra tips, basically, you know, up to the gold tier where I'll trade in your account for you and make you lots of coins. I'll be expecting you guys to make probably 1 million, 2 million per week with this. So, obviously, it's a very good value thing. So, yeah, I hope you do enjoy, guys, and I will see you all very soon in the video. What is going on today? Welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today I'm going to be showing you an insane method with the special cards. So you want to put in here obviously the special and then go to shadow. You might have seen this before guys but you've got to get this right so I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. You put in around 12k and you just search here and you skip through to the 59th minute and you can see there's loads of cards over the hour. So now what you've got to do is to filter this out is put 10k, 10250 in here and 11750 and this might be a lot better now so we'll go and check it still 11250 is the probably gonna have to be the price here there seems to be quite a lot so we'll go to 11250 now and we'll just have a look again investigate what's going on and you can see there's only one over the hour which is absolutely perfect so we start up here now I mean Jesus Navas so I'm gonna go check this guy quickly because I know on PS he's a lot more expensive I don't know his price on here so it's always worth going to check a couple of these if they're um, the more expensive ones here. You can see on Xbox he's not really a buy, like there's loads of them up, it's pretty standard. Um, like he's not a special player, like there's no deal on him at all. Um, so we go back in here now at 10k, um, just skip back to the 59th. And you can see you want to just keep refreshing guys on this here, so you don't want to put anything else in. Just literally sit here and repeatedly refresh over and over again and wait for another deal to pop up. It auto refreshes the filter. We have to have only one or two cards past the hour, so you have no more than two. If there's two past the hour, you have to drop the price again. Or alternatively, instead of dropping the price, you can just bid on the card to get it over the price if you have a lot more coins. But it's, there's a lot of deals going on this filter. It's better in the night because it goes up to about 11,750 in the night, which is always obviously better because it's going to benefit you when searching. But you just want to sit here like this and we'll try and get some deals. I did get some earlier, um, some pretty nice deals actually. So hopefully we'll be able to get some more. Um, see the up here, this isn't a buy. It's about 20k normally. Um, you can send them on for about 22 normally, that's about it. I went for 17k yesterday, so there are potential like chances of players like that. Obviously, you might make mistakes when you first start doing this, like I did. I mean, I still do. Like I buy a car thinking it's a good deal and I mess up. It's just got to get used to the prices. You've got to learn them all. And when you have, it's a lot better. Obviously, I don't trade a lot on Xbox. You can only have 200k on here. Probably about 350k overall. I don't really do a lot of trading on here at all. Um, and you see Illich here, I mean, in a shadow, this guy is going to be a nightmare to sell. Like, if you just look at him here, uh, Illich, I mean, there's probably none of it. There's none of it. Some guys actually bought it as well, which is crazy. I mean, what's he go for normally? <laughs> That's going to be the way to sell. If he's 18k normally, then someone's got a very good deal. And you can see here, yeah, wow, someone's got a nice deal there, actually. And then start off about 23k, probably. It'll be a long sell, though, because there's not many people going to be wanting to have Illich in the shadow. That's the problem with these players. You can't go and buy, like, strikers all the time, because... Obviously, people are going to want to use them, and they're not going to want Illich in a, um, a position where they're a shadow. That's just not going to happen. The Paul here, again, I mean, it's one of them. You can probably pick it up and make a profit. Graven Perch, no. I mean, I would risk this normally. I mean, that's a bargain there. I missed that. He sells for about 13 and a half, 14k. So, you can see we do come up. Um, you just got to be fast, and I'm... Still a slow coach as well, because I'm trying to like look and figure out is it a deal, is it not? Like it's a bit to hear. I think it is a deal. I'm gonna risk it and just see. I could be totally wrong. Like you know what I mean. Like I could be fully wrong. And again, I'm gonna. That was probably a big mistake actually. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm. I'm really cocked up there. So there you go. You can see what I mean though. Like even me who's been doing this for a while, I still managed to mess it up. I probably messed up on both of these. I don't know why I bought that Traore. It's because on PS is a lot more expensive, and this is the, exactly the problem with trading on both consoles. You forget which um, it is. I think it's Ishmael Torre. Is it? Wait, which? Tra I don't even know what his name is. Let's just put right. Let's just do this. It'll be easier. Right back shadow and Liga Un. We'll see how much he managed to lose. Oh yeah, I've still got Torre in. Um, so yeah, you can see he's around. I mean, you can probably sell it on for twenty nine. I mean, it's not the end of the world. 
Um, let's have a look. Yeah, probably 28, actually. And then so bits, so we'll see how much we've messed up on this one. But yeah, you just got to be good. I mean, this is a, I'm kind of glad it happens in a way because it just shows you guys that it's very normal to make mistakes here on it. I mean, you can see, I'll probably get, yeah, this name in the shadow. This is a good deal, actually. Um, you probably get 22 for it if you're lucky. Like, I mean, let's have a look. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I've got to get 20. Let's have a look at 22. If it's under a page, we'll go 20. Wait, there's another one there at 18.5. I'll go and get that one quickly if I can. There we go. We'll sell them both on for 21 and a half, 21 ish, something like that. We'll go 12 hours, 21 and a half, and we'll go 21.750 there. So the, the loss that we've made on this guy has been made back through the other ones. So they've pretty much broke even there. It's a little bit frustrating, really, because that's quite a lot of coins that I've wasted, really, on a stupid buy, which happens like you say it's going to happen this is what i mean when you're first doing this the advice i'd say is only buy the ones that you're certain on and basically check all the others because it's not worth like if you only have like you're gonna have like 100k to do this like you don't want to do it any less than that um basically so i'd advise having at least 100k and then starting off with doing this um but yeah we'll keep searching here hopefully we'll make up for it we'll try and get one more deal in before the end of the video we'll try to see one more deal anyway see if we can grab it for a nice little profit hopefully something good does come up there's a lot of potential to come up with some very good deals here which obviously is the challenge but obviously like you can imagine a lot of people are doing this it's a very easy filter to do so you can probably imagine like there's a lot of people hunting on the same thing which makes it very difficult at times but hopefully one more does pop up we'll give it another minute or so um, and just see if we can get something. I mean, even a couple of K is worth it. Like, it's nothing special. I don't really trade in Xbox too much, so obviously I'm not good at them. Like, whatever. I'll just make the coins back um, at an earlier like, at a later date. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, please do drop a sub. Do go and try this method for yourselves. Like, it's definitely a good method, and you will make coins off it. You've just got to be patient. And obviously smart as well and not be like me and just go and buy stupid things. Um, and they'll probably be okay then. Just got to do the opposite to me basically. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please do drop a sub if you are new guys. We're so close to 6.4k. It's unreal. Like we're literally three subs off. So you can go drop a sub for that guys. I'm going to try and get daily videos out for the next four or five days. I've been slacking a little bit over the last few days. I've just been a bit busy and whatever. So we're going to get back into it. I mean, Bellingham here. This is the sort of one. These are the perfect examples because the brand new team of the week. So let's go and see what's happening with Jude Bellingham. You can see here, I mean, it's sold, but he wouldn't bother, would you? Like 30k. I mean, if what does he go for normally? This is the way to check. Um, let's have a look. 30k. Yeah, you can probably go and get, you can be squeezed 30k. It's not a great profit, I mean, but it is the cheapest stuff. It's sometimes worth checking the new team of the weeks, like just quickly. Like, also with this, is like, uh, I've got to say, Gwen Doozy. I'll go put his name in fully because he's a nightmare to find. And then just put Shadow in here. Um, and you can just look, sometimes there are some nice little deals. I mean, to be fair, you can probably take both of them, sell them on for 20, but it's whether you want to risk that. I mean, definitely get these bids here. I'll probably monitor them. Because there'll be some nice little profits to be made there. We did go and sell something on as well, which is very handy. I think it was that Traore. There, we, I mean, we've basically lost a couple of K on him. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all very soon with a brand new.